Please remember that all the opinions in the show are those of the host and should only be taken as food for thought. We're in no way telling you to do anything. Everything is kept anonymous for the safety of the listeners and no information is shared to anyone else. If you are easily offended by people's opinions or views, then thank you for making it this far, but this is not the podcast for you, so see you later. And please enjoy the rest of the show. <laughs> Hi, so to no surprise, you guys and a very typical for me, James and I split and it's because he and his ex have rekindled their relationship after months of telling me not to worry that they're just friends. I've lost all trust in men now. I do not know how to move on from another bad relationship. I started to think it's my choice in men. What do you guys think I could do to get over this guy when I do different next time? This annoyed me and I said in the email, I'm pretty sure I came up with reasons to trust this guy. And he's Yeah, just, we both did. Yeah. And he's just fucking egg on our face, man. That's all it is. Yeah, what a we've, fucking... we've had a quite a disappointing episode when it comes to like what's happened after the emails. Um, I will start what off dickhead. by saying this guy didn't deserve you. That's that's no the be all and end all. Um, what a fucking prick! Yeah, the guy's a dickhead. Um, he's not worth your time. He's not worth your worries. I think the best thing for you to do is to do a bit of like self love at the minute and just like look after yourself. Don't jump into anything straight away. And maybe when you're looking at guys in the future, if you've had a, like a certain type up into this point, which she kind of mentioned she did, I think change that right up and go for someone that you think you'd never go for normally. And maybe that will be like a fresh breath of fresh air. Mm. I think people do get, into habits. I definitely did. We all, yeah, women, we like, all did. I, yeah, yeah. Charlotte's so, totally um, different to what my type was before that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, mine too. And I, I'm better for it. You know what I mean? There mm. is still some similarities. Yeah, I mean, obviously there is still going to be, but it's definitely worth, you know, taking that chance. Yeah. It, it's unfortunately that there's a lot of bad relationships out there. Like me and Jamie have experienced a lot. And uh, some, you know, a lot of the time, it's it's something you can't control. I do think the you world only... we live in at the minute with online dating and stuff has created such a monopolized version of what people like people's reaches. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like, if you had an ex in two thousand and one, you would just never see them again. Yeah. But because of internet and stuff like that you you still maintain contact and that's where the problems lie. Yeah, um, that's how I end up sleeping with a lot of my exes again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Doing stupid <laughs> shit, Dan. Stupid shit. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I, that's the way I would treat it. I would treat it as like, it's another lesson learned. Um, you're better than him. And... It just pisses me off that she explain to him how she was feeling like mm. we said to the previous like this is basically what's happening to the guy at the beginning of the, the episode yeah and we've said to him to explain to her how he's feeling almost the same situation and, yeah and he and he still looked her straight in the face as there was nothing there and then went and did it anyway and then went and did it anyway i just think to myself like you wasted everyone's fucking time but that might be your own what we said at the beginning men are dogs yeah, men are fuck it. Yeah, yeah. So he's obviously gone like, oh, if this doesn't work out or something, I've mm. got another fucking. And then he's like, oh, maybe I'll just do this anyway. And he just gets, has no regard for you at all, which mm. just makes me more fucking dirt. And I just, uh, <laughs> I just, uh, <laughs> just makes it comfortable. Man. Yeah, just to think, fucking. This is why I wish like everyone. I mean, I just wish this guy listened to the podcast, and I think. You know exactly that this is about you. And I'm quite happily sitting here calling you a piece of shit. What she could do is send a clip of this to her, to the geezer, and just say, this is what these two guys think of you, you prick. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll just make a TikTok and we'll send it to you. And be like, here you go. This is, this is for, for you to, to send to whoever you want. <laughs> Fucking man slag. 
Um, I just, um, but this is why, like, these people wonder why so many relationships have so many secrets and so many things. When yeah, and people one wonder why people side have of trust it, issues and stuff like that. Yeah, one side is is opening up and saying how they feel, and the other person is just reassuring to not have that that conversation with them, and then and then just just prolonging what's going to happen it's oh it just annoys the fuck out of me i mean i know loads of blokes that sell girls an uh, absolute like dream boyfriend to them and then they go in ibiza and they go into like megaloof and they're going doing all this shit and they're just shagging everyone do you know what i mean oh, and sure. like these guys are not good guys and there is loads of them that are like that yeah oh yeah yeah just um but, but like that's only one side, right? Like women do the same thing as well. We're not oh, yeah, we're yeah, yeah, only yeah. going after men because of the situation right now. Like it's not a uh, there's, uh, there's despicable guilty. people in this world. Yeah, it's not it's yeah. not what sex they are. It's the person. Like there's people that yeah. are serial cheats and can't help themselves. <laughs> yeah, and they only deserve each other. Yeah. yeah, no, I agree with Jamie, and I think everyone should do it after a bad relationship and stuff. Like you've got a sort of be Reset. happy on your own again. Yeah. You've got to find things that you enjoy. And because basically when you like you break up with someone in a bad relationship, it affects you. It affects everyone, right? It's not like a... But that if you try and jump into another one, that bad relationship you've passed on. So yeah. if you take that time to, to you know, have you know, a couple months, it doesn't matter until you feel like happy and you feel confident again and like you're yourself then you can move on to someone else and you're a fresh start. Don't just be like, oh, well, that one's a bad one. I better get straight back onto Tinder. No, don't. No, don't do it. No, it's just you're just continuing the fucking grief because that's what I did yeah. continuously. I think people will try to do it because they have a sense of urgency because of age or whatever. But mm. age is just a number. You can you can do it at any time. Yeah. Give, yeah. give yourself Find, six months. Yeah, being happy with yourself is much more important because once you're happy with yourself, you meet someone else mm -hmm. and that's what they like about you, right? Like yeah. they like your confidence and your your enthusiasm about the things you enjoy. Rather than bringing baggage into the next thing. Yeah. So um, that's what I would do. I, I, the few times I took breaks, yeah, I mean, and got off all of that, I was much happier than the times I was tr struggling to try and do this and do that and just sleep in, around randomly. I much preferred the the personal me time. Yeah. You know what I mean, and then I took the chance. I, you know, what I mean, I was like sick of it all, and I was, you know, what I mean, I gave it a genuine go, and now I'm happy. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you know what I mean, so um, we know you can do it. It seems, it, I believe me, like I know it seems tough and it's fucking horrible and it's a shit show. Mm. And um, yeah, it's, it's going to be rough, but there's someone out there. 100% there's someone out there and, and me and Jamie will be here for when you uh, it'll finally happen we know it will yeah definitely and we'll be cheering I'll buy a bottle of drink and I'll keep it down here for that email <laughs> and you'll hear me open it on the on the on the podcast on the pod <laughs> yeah <laughs> for sure but keep your head up don't don't I mean men are dogs but so are women as well so mm. we all are people are horrible 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 people Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. <laughs> just go on TikTok. You'll see a lot of them. Oh His yeah, Bevo. Fucking Bevo. He's got buck. He's got buck teeth. Mm -hmm.